Hello and welcome back once again to another modded Skyrim video. Before the video gets started, I would just like to say if you guys have been enjoying this um, series, don't forget to leave a like on the videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel because it definitely helps me out a lot. Um, if you've been really enjoying these videos, don't forget to share the video with your friends and family and whatnot. And if you have any, any suggestions, please leave those suggestions down in the comment section below so I can see what you guys want to see in the future. All right, so in the last video, we um, we retrieved the Dragonstone for Farangard, and we learned that there's a dragon over in the Western Watchtower, which is over in that direction, west from here. So we're going to go off and take care of that dragon. Um, and then I believe we'll continue with... Um, we'll be able to give Yarrow Bulgruff the letter um, that General Tolius gave us. It looks like Irileth is gone. So it looks like Irileth already took her men over to the Western Watchtower. Yes. All right, there's the Western Watchtower. I guess I should get a bow ready. No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been hurt. I know it looks bad. We've got to figure out what happened. I wish that dragon was still skulking around somewhere. Spread out. And look for survivors. We need to know what was. Back. It's still here somewhere. Corky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Did Red save us? Here he comes again. Here he comes. Find cover and make every arrow count. Oh, there he is. Did he really just land behind the tower where I can't see him? He did. Um, let's go up here. Of course, he took off again. Ooh. I just want him to land so I can shoot him. Right, perfect, he's right there. Never mind, he's taking off again. Got a couple shots off on him. He's landing again. Maybe he'll stay there for a longer time this time. Just get some shots over. I think we dealt enough damage where he won't be able to 
take off. All right, there we go. Um, What's happening? Everybody, get back. All right, um, I'm gonna take all that stuff. Do I have enough carry away? Oh, I have plenty of carry away to grab all of that. Shouts, shout, 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 shouts. That was the hairiest fight I've ever been in. I don't know about this dragonborn. We taught that dragon not to mess with white hearts. Believe it. You are dragonborn. The dragonborn? Well, what do you mean? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. You know, I, I think you might be right. Yes, I think I am. You can shout now. That can only mean one thing. You must be dragonborn. Dragon? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septon himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septon killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. <laughs> Say you now. Be awfully quiet. Come on. your gums on matters you don't know anything about here's a dead dragon and that's something i definitely understand now we know we can kill them but i don't need some mythical dragonborn someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me you wouldn't understand house tom you ain't an orc i've been all across tamriel i've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting, what you just did. It must be. You really are the worst. Hmm. Alright, so now we are able to use our shouts. Um, we're still gonna need to, of course. Um, kill dragons to get dragon souls, but now dragons are going to start spawning in randomly throughout um, the world, and there'll be random encounters that we have with dragons. What's this over here? It's like a house of some sort. I have no idea what this is doing over here. Anyways, let's go to... Can't even fast travel to Dragon's Reach. Alright, um... Since we're right here, I guess, we might as well... Uh, just walk there. And that go, there goes the Greybeards. 
shouting at me. What do you want? I need to ask you to stop. That shouting is making people nervous. I'm sorry it won't happen again. Good. Glad we straightened that out. Boost! Did it! We killed the dragon. Look! Before it hit the soldier. There's a nip in the air. The cold won't be good for my crops. Never is. Wanna hear a little Lord wisdom? You don't really know a woman. Do you have anything even? Here you go. Divines, bless your kind heart. I'm ready with that. Was that might have been that dialogue option might have been with my. Um, become High King of Skyrim. Oh, there's a skeleton underneath um, the bridge here that leads up to Dragon's Reach. Not exactly sure what the skeleton's doing here, who it belongs to, or any of that, but it's here underneath the bridge right here. Um, why it's here, it's um, there's a couple theories. As to why there's a skeleton under the bridge of that lead into Dragon's Reach, um, none of the theories can be proven to be true. They're just obviously theories. There's been talk amongst the gods. Your dragon. Good, you're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeard. We were just talking no about what happened at the watchtower. Was the dragon there? Yeah, the watchtower was destroyed, but we, we killed the dragon. I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Well, it turns out that I might be something called Dragonborn. Dragonborn. The dragonborn. Well, when the dragon died, I am I absorbed some kind of power from it. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. The Greybeards? Masters of the way of the void. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. And what do these Greybeards want with me? The dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a tune or shout. If you really are dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. Nord Boost! nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. I need to ask you to start our sacred that tradition. Shouting is making the founding of the First Empire. Glad you straightened that out. Rangar, don't be so hard on Avanishi. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeard's business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. 
You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl. And this weapon. No, that, 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 that's fine. I don't need Lydia. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want that. Oh, you talk way too much. We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Here, now, can you take this message that I have from General Tullius, please? No doubt requesting to garrison his men in my castle. How many times must I deny him? Well, out with it! Mo well, over plans to attack Whiterun, and the general wants to lead Legion, or lend Legion troops. I see. Give the papers to my steward. I was given strict instructions for the Yarrow's eyes only. Don't be daft. Proventus is my eyes. Just give me the letter. I presume once I have it, I can do as I please with it? Good. These are interesting reports. Proventus, All this standing around is rubbish. We should be taking the fight to the storm cloaks. As in all things, Lord God. Um. I urge us to wait and see. Pray wait. I'm of a mind with Irelet. It's time to act. You plan to march on Windhelm? I'm not a fool, Proventus. I mean, it's time to challenge Ulfric to face me as a man, or to declare his intentions. He'll do no such thing. He was rather straightforward with Torrig. Torig? He simply walked up to the boy and murdered him. That boy was High King of Skyrim. I'm not the High King, but neither am I a boy. If Ulfric wants to challenge my rule in the old way, let him. Though I suspect he'll prefer to send his storm cloak to do it for him. True. He's already proven his personality. Now he seeks to prove his armies. Then might I urge you to consider General Tullius's request? I mean, if you are bent on offending Jarl Ulfric. Ulfric is the one who has offended. But Proventus has a point. Ulfric has made it clear. In his mind, to refuse his claim is to side with the Empire. And what harm is there in letting a few legionnaires die in place of your own men? It seems cowardly. Was it cowardly, then, to accept the white gold concordat? This again? That was different. Was I given a chance to object to the terms of the treaty? No. The Yaros weren't asked. We were told. And we had to like it. The chests of gold didn't hurt. Damn it! This isn't about gold! It's time to decide. Lord, wait. Let us see if Ulfric is serious. Oh, he's serious, but so am I. Finally. You there. I have a message for you to deliver to our friend, the esteemed Jarl of Windhelm. Deliver this axe to Ulfric Stormcloak. And you think Ulfric will just let me just walk in there? No trouble? True, he's a dangerous and bloodthirsty man. But he's also a Nord that honors our traditions. Keep your wits about you and you won't be harmed. And then get back here. Because if Ulfric isn't bluffing, I'll need every able body to defend Whiterun. Should I say anything to him? Men who understand one another need not waste words. There are but a few simple truths behind one warrior giving another his axe. Ulfric will know my meaning. Understood. Good. good. Proventus, bring me my pen and the good parchment. Now, we if you don't mind, letter, Lord? I've got a... S yes, the General Talius. I need to make a few things clear before I accept... Hey, we're off to Windhelm to give Ulfric this axe. That's nice, Lydia.
Alright, off to Windhelm we go. I don't think I've been there yet. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to take the carriage over to Windhelm. It's the Alakir warriors that are harassing Redgar women. Nope. Hire your carriage. Um, I want to go to Windhelm. We'll I can't wait here forever. Um. Oh, Jesus. You know, I really should have seen that coming. Can't fight while in the water. Um, I'm gonna have to heal up a little bit. Let's do some of that. We get some magicka in there as well. Can I get up there, please? Ow. Oh, don't shoot me. Yeah, I'm not... I'm gonna just assume that they're not gonna take my surrender. Alright, I was almost full health. I don't know how he killed me.
All right, maybe next time when there's a big fight going on between the Stormcloaks and the Imperials, I just stay out of it. Hey, let's try that again. I really don't know what the Imperials were doing there. But, um... Come by Bellator's shop at the market. Be sure that's no, stay away from me. We're gonna go try that again, I suppose. And maybe this time I'll just, you know, stay, stay out of it. Maybe it's best that I don't attack uh, the Stormcloak soldiers. All right. I would like to go to Windhelm. We'll Ever been to Windhelm? Oldest city in Skyrim by some count. They say the big old palace there was built by Yisramor himself. Alright, I mean, there are Imperial soldiers down here. Ow. Here's an Imperial soldier as well. Keep your eyes open. All right, the great city of Windhelm. Mulfric, uh, I have a message. Yeah, I brought a message from the Arrow White Run. Is that so? I've been wondering when you come around. Oh, what's this? Uh, you're quite brave to carry such a message. It's a pity you've chosen the wrong side. You can return this axe to the man who sent it and tell him he should prepare to entertain. I expect a great deal of excitement in the city of Whiterun in the near future. You've killed the High King. Why make war on your own people? I have shown the people that when our Jarls drink the Empire's milk, it makes us weak. I must now show them the path that will lead us back to our strength. There is no progress without sacrifice. No wheat without threshing the chaff. The Empire and the Jarls who back them must be swept away. The people demand it. I demand it. You will be stopped. Oh? True, I may meet my end in a dark alley with a dagger in my back. But the people have seen the truth, and they will not back down. 
We'll be seeing you soon, Ulfric. Sooner than you think. By the gods, it's true, isn't it? A dragon has attacked me. Alright, now I believe we have to go back to White Run and tell um, tell Yara Bulgriff that Ulfric told me to return his axe. Um... Sorry about that. Let me guess. Take a moment to Someone breathe, your sweet but, Sir, breathe. The outer walls are strong. If we can hold them there, they have catapults. Damn it. Where did they get catapults? The city walls are already falling apart as it is. My scouts tell me they're loading them with fire. So, he wants to take my city. Walls intact. The men will be fighting in flames. My men are fearless. It's the Imperial milk drinkers I'm worried about. If you prefer, I can take my men and leave. No, uh, of course not. Just don't let me down, Sidious. You'll need to set up water brigades to combat the flames. Already taken care of. You Imperials are efficient. I'll give you Another that. Another wanderer here to How look my father's they arrive? Boots. Good job. Sir. Not long. They're hiding in the countryside. Damn it. What's he waiting for? Sir? What? Sir, they're on the move. They'll be at the gates at any moment. Why didn't you say so immediately? Sir, I... You've well, returned with my axe. I knew that would be his response. If you knew that was going to be his response, why did you send me with the axe? Some of his troops and legged Scipius here. Let Ulfric try to make it past our combined forces. I'll turn you back over to your legion. Legged Scipius will have use for you. Gods be with us all. Hey. Time to see what these storm the stormcloaks are here in force. Get down to the front line. This is it. You must I'm hold concerned the about the y'all. Alright, now we get to fight a war with Ulfric Stormcloak. <clears throat> Stay alert. I don't know why, but during this quest that tree kind of disappears. I really don't know exactly why the tree disappears, but it does. Oh, we have our own catapults! Oh, Jesus Christ. Are you gonna fire that thing? There you go. Fire! <laughs> Alright, do we have more than one catapult or do we just have the one? The one catapult seems to be a bit ineffective. I feel like we could have easily have set up two catapults. Alright, I guess I should get out there. Alright, like a Trika. Oh. 
Alright, let's go. Ow, okay, I'm heading back inside. Going back. Alright. Oh, there's like three Imperial. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Jump, 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 jump. Head back. I'm going back. Where is there a storm cloak? How the hell did he get up there? Why is he up there? Um, nope. Are there more? Oh, okay, they kind of opened up the door. Ow, who is shooting? Oh, they're over there. All right. No, no, no. Ow. All right, I think it might be time to put some points into destruction magic. Um, unfortunately, destruction needs to be level 30 in order to get all magnetic flames. Ow. Um. He's fighting some invisible person. Can I, like, raise... Ow. Who the hell is attacking me? Someone's attacking me and I can't see you. There you are. I don't know why the Stormcloaks are turning invisible. Didn't I have my healing favorited? Alright, um... Alright, are there still more archers up here? No, you're not. Get back here. Alright, well that takes care of that. I never actually had... Stormcloaks get up there and actually activate the drawbridge. So I gotta report to General Tullius now.
Are you going to say anything or are you just going to kind of stand there? Okay, I'm going to go to Solitude and report to Joe and Tullius. been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hit. Let's see. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of me. Looks like that's it. Being Go. old's not so bad. Daughter keeps me fed. My working days are done. Hmm. Did that courier even give me the letter? Nope. Sorry. Oh, he didn't. Letter from a friend. Lost Valley read out. I don't abide fancy clothes, as you look like you might. Radiant Raymond, so By defeating Ulfric at Whiterun, we have solidified the allegiance of the Jarl. Perhaps the Stormcloaks will soon lose heart for this little rebellion of theirs once and for all. I'm promoting you to Quester. Take this blade, a symbol of your new station and responsibility. I'll keep an eye on your progress. The Empire rewards excellence, and so do I. All right. So what's next? Quester. Let's look at the board here. Alright, so we just took over Whiterun. Well, we didn't take over Whiterun, but we solidified our allegiance with the RO of Whiterun. Um, I feel like we should take out the Forsworn forts over here. Bandits in these forts. Stormcloaks have Iverstead. Um, to pick starting. Adapt. All right. Yeah. Open to war standard mode. Battle odds depend on war map war game. War game plays automatically on its own. Um. War gamer buffer zone between the rebel forces and the capital. Ulfric will try to break through. Hmm? Um, I think we should probably take Dawnstar. Taking the pale gives us another port in Dawnstar and puts us within striking distance yes. of Windhelm. That should make all. Make your way to our hidden military camp in the Pale. Rico will have important tasks for you, and will need you when we reclaim the capital. Yes, sir. God be with you. All right. We need we need to regain control of so this is Dawnguard, right? Dawnstar. Port Dunstead. All right.
Alright. Yalmarch is an important buffer zone between the rebel forces and the capital. Ulfric will try to break through at some point. Hey. By holding on to Valkyrie, we control access to the Reach, White Run, and the Proudspire Manor. Uh, there's a fine home. Up for sale, too. If you're interested, talk to the steward in the keep. So we are off to the Pale Imperial Camp. That's going to have to wait till. Um, next episode however because i'm all out of time for this episode so you guys have been enjoying um if you guys have been enjoying these videos don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel because it definitely helps me out a lot uh, don't forget to share uh, these videos um just get the word around about my channel and everything because i mean Every subscriber counts. All right, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.